Stepping that work like karate Serving a new Maserati And a brand new Maserati That's a whole lot of new money Session that had it from 12 What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Young LB562 Coming to you guys with another episode of Custom Closet Now this is a pair of shoes That I've been working on for about a couple days now And it was a shoe that I did before um, The actual Total Red uh, Jordan 3's I did a while back About maybe a year ago Probably not a full year But about a year ago I finished those up and actually never really wore them. I wore them like one time and it was a little too loud for me. Something I wasn't, wasn't really uh, comfortable wearing a lot. If you guys know my personality, I'm really, really low key. I don't like a lot, bring a lot of attention to myself. But that kind of con contradicts myself when I did those shoes. So I really didn't really wear them. Wore them one time and it's pretty much there in the closet. So I was uh, actually just scrolling through um, YouTube videos like I always do. Uh, on a regular basis, I love YouTube to death. I like watch it all, all, all the time. And um, actually, seen this video from a guy, um, Kelvin Kicks, I believe his name is on, on YouTube. Uh, he actually did a Pantone Jordan Three. Now, I like that shoe a lot. I've, since I've seen the samples of the Pantone pack back in 2010, I fell in love with the whole concept of the pack. I wish they would have released them in um, you know general release in all the Jordans you know, from like one through I think it was like 2010 back in back at that time. But uh, they only released the Jordan 11s recently in the Gift of Flight pack with the uh, Jordan 29s. And we haven't really seen any other colorways of the shoe, or actually any other shoe model come out in that colorway. So you're seeing a couple customs here and there, but um, this week I actually did a pair of Jordan 3s from the Total Rares I did before. And I did them in the Pantone colorway. So I did shoot a little bit of footage for you guys so you guys can you know, kind of see and break down a little bit. I did a little bit of tutorial on uh, some, some aspects of the shoes, so just want to show you guys a little bit of footage of the Total Red stripped down, completely acetone, and this it will be the Pantone, or for the love of the game, Jordan 3s. Um, maybe a little bit different because it's going to have a, a gray outsole, as you can see there, a little, little hits of red, but this is going to be a Pantone. Hopefully everything works out in my favor. It's going to be kind of hard to cover up all this red, but I plan on doing these justice, so you guys see it. What they are now. Alright YouTube, so now what I'm doing is I'm uh, actually painting the sock liner. Um, the Pantone is supposed to be a black sock liner. I did the majority of it already um, with just a basic uh, paintbrush here. And uh, what I'm doing is a mixture of uh, GAC 900, which is a fabric medium, helps uh, the sock liners and the other materials be uh, paintable and actually keep its uh, softness when you heat set it with a um, heat gun. So I got my heat gun um, sitting down over there chilling. I uh, got my GAC and my black mixed together. And um, yeah, so what I'm basically doing is uh, detailing it right now. So just getting a little bit of GAC on there. Uh, I'm not going to actually be able to do a lot of it. Just want to show you guys a little bit of detail. Uh, let see if I can get it. Because I'm going to have to hold the camera and I need both hands to do it. Um, but just going along the lines and trying to get everything smooth. The bigger portions I did with the other paintbrush. And right now I'm just doing the details. Getting to the little fine corners and the, and the points and everything. And just touching that up, making it look good and uh, crisp. I've already done this other shoe uh, yesterday, so you guys can get a better look at it. Uh, still left a little bit of the, of the tongue red, just because I didn't want to go all the way down in there. I wasn't feeling it was necessary, but I did this other one yesterday, and now I'm just doing the fine details on it. And uh, when I get back, I'll show you guys how I, I paint the uh, jump in on the tongue and a little bit on the heel. Alright YouTube, so now we're going to, well, I'm going to show you guys how I do the um, the heel tabs, the jump mans on the heel tabs, the um, the fours and the threes and whatnot. Uh, what you want to basically do is just get your uh, paint, which is in there, like a little cup or cap. This is the cap that comes on top of the uh, actual paint. So it goes on there and I just take it off. Put a little bit, usually I'll shake it up and get a little bit of paint gets in there. Uh, not too much, but enough just to get what I'm, as much, as much as I need. And I use a Q-tip. And I got this uh, technique from Sneakerhead in the Bay. Um, basically, what you do is just uh, get it, and you just rub it in there and circularly, in circular motion. So, kind of just get in there, and what this house does, it, it gets rid of the, um, the brush strokes. 
and you do a of course this is a blue going on a white going on blue so it's gonna take a couple more coats than usual but you know just do it just take your time with it you should get good, good, good uh, pretty good results so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll get back to you guys uh, when I start doing the uh, jumping on the tongue all right all right YouTube so now I'm just using the uh, detail brush and a little bit of paint and uh, touching up this jump in here and this is uh, when patience takes uh, takes hold because this takes a long time especially because I have a blue background kind of the same thing with the uh, heel tab but you guys see that too um, the heel tab there uh, just took about maybe uh, about seven or eight coats I think I'm gonna do one more coat anyway just to really make sure it looks good but this uh, on the tongue actually I think it'll take a little bit less this is just the first coat and I think maybe two coats will be uh, good enough so if you guys are wondering what kind of pen or pen or paintbrush I'm using this is number two round from Princeton uh, I got this from the uh, custom class I did uh, the first time and what it, it comes with a pack of four and I also bought another uh, where did it go another paintbrush too this is this is the pack it comes with these two brushes here this uh, detail brush and this one here and I'll end up actually buying this one at Michaels it's a little bit more finer point um, but it's not really necessary to use this one this one is actually pretty good this number two so I'm actually using that one and uh, as you can see I'm getting pretty good results and like I said it takes about maybe uh, on the jumpman on, on the tongue probably about two coats just because it takes up the paint really good and um, just being like a fabric material kind of really took hold of the, uh, the the blue mix I, I mixed together um, if you guys are wondering it was a mixture of Angela's pale blue you guys get a look at that Angela's pale blue uh, the majority of it, of course was that pale blue Okay. Yeah, so it's Angela's Pale Blue mixed with a little bit of uh, this was flat white. It doesn't say white anymore because I, I, I use it so much and the twist and the cap and everything, the print came off of it. But it is Angela's Flat White. Um, I say probably about uh, a one to three ratio of a white or blue to white to get this Angela's or this uh, Pantone Blue. And uh, of course, because it the uh, pale blue is uh, just a basic blue. It's not a flat blue. I had to add duller to it to get this uh, flat look. Um, if you guys are beginners, I strongly suggest uh, purchasing duller because it will help the leather look more dulled down and not as glossy as you see here. And well, you, I, I'm pretty sure if you guys already watched the. Uh, the video on the um, what do you call the uh, total reds? You seen how the glossy the, everything was on the upper, and that was hand painted with uh, fire red, and I didn't use any color in it, and it was really really glossy. This is a flat color, and this is actually in the sun and everything. Well, not in the sun, but I have sunlight coming in through the window, and you can actually see how it barely has a glimmer to it. So use dollar. All right, guys. So I'm gonna finish this up, and then I'll get you guys back when I am finished completely and uh, yeah that's it okay YouTube so now you guys seen the breakdown on how I did these and uh, you know I'm really really happy with the product I think they came out really really clean there's some um, th some things I could have did better but this was a learning experience um, I did completely airbrush the whole upper and I wasn't able to actually hand paint it and uh, I, I was able to hand paint it but I thought it would be a lot faster to airbrush it and it was it took me a lot less time to uh, airbrush it than it would to actually uh, hand paint it. But you guys got the other shoe here. And uh, I felt like it, it, it came out really, really clean. Like I said, there's some aspects uh, I probably could have did better. Um, but I'm really, really happy with the product and how it came out. So, as always, guys, if you are interested in getting any work done for me, feel free to email me um, or actually just hit me up on message. I'll give you guys my email. Um, you can always DM me on Instagram, 
you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it is Ron underscore got underscore soul 562. So go ahead and hit me up on um, Instagram and DM me if you guys are interested in getting work done. If not, go ahead and just uh, send me a message or comment um, down below. And I can give you guys my email address so you guys can hit me up on PayPal and uh, we can get a transaction going. So if you guys are interested in getting work done, hit me up. Um, let's get into the on feet. Uh, before that, as always, rock what you like and I will type. You guys have a good one. Peace. Nigga, they say they good. You heard? Shout out Big Tuck and all that. Uh, not a stain on me, broke niggas, lanes funny, nigga. And the world's mine, seen the blimp, blame Tony, nigga. Bitches on my horn, a sack with all this game on me. Cartier's was red, tell him check the frames, homie. Run my city jogging, real niggas ain't blocking. Kill a nigga when they see me rocking in that top 40. You know they can't afford it, they mission got aborted. it. They don't wanna get extorted, some of my bitches got deported. I change the lane on me, fuck the fame, crony. Couple gold chains, just like they ain't a day, homie. Spill some champagne, still it ain't a stain on me. Be the Billy Jean, she tryna put the blame on me. Yeah, I'm about that mic life, she wrote it like Excite Bike. Infrared, six is on, you know that show was something slight. Lighting up that end though, stunting in that benzo. I can't be no friends, ho. On the shit, the pins now. Young nigga ain't stunting now. Goddamn, can I breathe? Goddamn, can I live? Six dudes in my dreams.